Let's have a look at the API runtime in Apigee Edge. You have services, or you're developing services. The goal is to expose them as consumable APIs with the appropriate security and behavior and management. Let me show you just some of the options in Apigee Edge that help with that. First, let's talk about API security. We'll start with a bare API. This is a JSON API, and there's no security implemented by the backend system. With Apigee Edge, you can add security without changing that backend system. The simplest and easiest way to apply security to an API is with API key verification. Let me show you. I create an API proxy, specifying the backend URL as the target. I add in key verification with the verify API key policy. Save that, and now every inbound request will need to pass an API key. Easy. By the way, to make this feasible, obviously we need clients to invoke the proxy, not the existing backend system. And we need to restrict access to that backend system so that only the Apigee Edge proxy can connect with it. We normally do this with a two-way TLS on that connection. As a more advanced alternative, Apigee Edge supports OAuth version 2.0. This allows you to verify a token within the API proxy rather than a key. A token is a time-limited key derived from the consumer key. Virtually every Apigee customer uses OAuth to secure their APIs. Token verification works very similarly to key verification. It's a single policy in the proxy. Save it, and now every inbound request must present a valid token. Apigee Edge can, of course, issue tokens according to the various OAuth 2.0 grants, client credentials, authorization code, implicit, password. And you can specify the expiry of tokens, the scope on tokens when you issue them. Now let's talk about API beauty. We know that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but let me tell you, today's developers don't want to behold XML or SOAP. Your older services might work great, but if they're not easy to consume, you won't get the agility you want. With Apigee Edge, you can transform those older services into elegant, easy to use APIs. First, let me show you a SOAP service. The response includes lots of angle brackets, namespaces, and framing. Not beautiful. This is what we see with legacy services and some third-party SaaS services you might depend on. An Apigee Edge proxy can accept a simpler inbound payload and transform that into the heavier XML the existing service expects. And at the same time, it can transform the response into lighter weight XML. An easy way to do this is with XSLT. For the request and the response, I just include an XSL policy in the API proxy and specify the transform. Let's see it work. Wow, much simpler. Taking that a step further, Apigee can transform the simpler XML into JSON. We use the built-in XML to JSON policy for that. Here's what it looks like. I'll invoke it again. So easy, no more angle brackets. What if I want to transform the resulting JSON? Maybe I want to rename the properties or augment that payload with some additional client-specific data. I can do that with a JavaScript policy. This is really neat. Within the API proxy, I can add a little bit of script that manipulates the payload in any way I'd like. Super easy, simple, and it works great. By composing multiple policies, I can have the proxy perform the transformation that I want for any API. Existing services get renewed. That's an API makeover. We talked about security and beauty. Let's talk about performance now. Some backend services are expensive. Maybe it's a third-party service where you pay by the call or where you've got a call limit. Or maybe it's a large data set that changes slowly, like a product catalog and it's just not worth reassembling that result each time. 
you can use Apigee Edge Caching to cache the results of backend services. This can deliver noticeable performance gains for clients and users and can relieve pressure on backend systems. Just one additional policy. Here, I'll show you the difference in performance using the Apigee Edge Cache. The uncached service takes hundreds of milliseconds. The cached service takes less than 10. At scale, that makes a huge difference. And with Apigee Edge, you have fine control over the cache expiry and granularity. OK, I've showed you how to make a backend service more consumable by adding security and beautifying it. Another common desire is to be able to compose multiple backend systems into a single API. Maybe you want to add a geocoding API. Maybe you want to add in a data protection API. So composition is a thing. With Apigee Edge, you can do that. The service callout policy is a simple way to gather a response that can then be composed with the response from the back end. I just drop in a policy, configure it, and then I can combine that response with the response from the target. Suppose you've got multiple systems and you want some light orchestration, maybe coordinated with conditional logic. With Apigee Edge, you can use the hosted target to do that orchestration. Write your logic in Node.js or Python or Java. The inbound request is proxied to your code. And that code can then decide what backend or backends to invoke. It all runs within the scope of the Apigee API proxy. Finally, Apigee Edge includes extensions. So you can easily connect into existing services like Google BigQuery, Cloud Functions, or Storage, or AWS Lambda, or the Informatica Cloud. The extension capability is available right from the policy palette. Just drop in an extension, and it will execute within the proxy context. You can combine any or all of these techniques in a single API proxy to compose your APIs the way you'd like. Now I want to show you how you can use Apigee Edge for conditional routing. In the simple case, Apigee Edge gives you circuit breaker capability. Apigee can automatically distribute load across a set of backend services while monitoring the health of those services and removing unhealthy endpoints from rotation. But suppose you want to perform some conditional routing, maybe routing based on a varying weight for A-B testing or canary rollouts or maybe routing based on the client ID. Apigee Edge allows you to do that, too. Here, I built a dynamic router based on a routing table lookup and some JavaScript to select the target. When I want to add in a new target or change the weights, I just update the table. No need to touch the API proxy, and we've got data-driven routing. And again, you can compose this capability with the other elements you've seen. For example, conditionally executing an extension callout. Here I showed you some of the basic capabilities of Apigee Edge, adding security to existing APIs, beautifying existing APIs, composition, extensions, caching, routing. This is just the start. There's much more capability in the product. Role-based access control, mandatory flows for APIs, IP whitelisting, header injection. Apigee Edge is a power tool for curating beautiful, secure, consumable APIs.